hello again welcome to another new video in this video i'm going to explain how you can deploy your host sp.net mbc application on iis so before uh, hosting or deploying e your application you have to follow a few steps uh, so uh, first things you have to make sure the configure uh, iis into your windows uh, operating system it will be your local machine or uh, windows server then you have to make sure dotnet sdk or hosting bundle with uh, hosting bundle for iis publication and then we will pu publish the application using visual studio and configure the iis and finally we'll test and uh, troubleshoot the application so here is the published application after the published we can see this application so we are not going to create a complete project now we'll use our existing uh, business erp solution we'll publish this application into iis how we can publish this application uh in this video i will explain from start to end so let's start so first you have to configure uh <coughs> is into your machine so you have to go to your uh from uh, your machine windows control panel <coughs> so windows button and to the control panel so in the control panel you have to go program and features then turn windows feature on you on off so if i click this button then we can have this another window like this i already uh, enable but i i will show you how you can enable so you have to go to internet information services then web management tool and also worldwide web services so these things you have to uh, conf enable especially let me show you which things especially you have to enable i have a document listed document so that you can follow properly so here is the document list so web management tool you have to check is management console is management script uh, tool if needed and for ww uh, web services uh, common http feature health the diagnostics performance feature security features so these are the things you have to enable uh, to perform uh, sp.net uh, web application into is web service web server so i'm considering you successfully uh, enable this uh, windows features using control panel so after configuring these things, uh, uh, let's move uh, to the next things, which is uh, like .NET SDK. You have to install .NET SDK uh, for uh, running and uh, debugging the uh, .NET, uh, SP .NET application. For hosting, you have to uh, install hosting bundle. So here is the uh, .NET SDK 8.0.0 latest. So this uh, hosting bundle, SP.NET runtime hosting bundle so um, if you click then it will uh, download automatically so i'm just cancelling because i already installed this uh, hosting bundle into my machine also you can check uh, dotted version uh, .NET version so i already installed latest sdk 8.0 so IIS configuration done from my local machine. <clears throat> also, the ins I installed the .NET SDK. So uh, how you can open the IIS? Type IIS. So if you already enable, then you can see in IIS into your startup after typing. So once you open this uh, IIS, then you can see this is the IIS. I already uh, inst uh, configure few of my application. I will configure newly. Uh, for this video purpose my business erp solution so here is the project business erp solution so for what we am i am going to so using uh, this project we are going to publish so just right click of this application and there is a published option uh, published so if i click the published then uh, there is an additional option here azure docker folder so we am going to use folder so you just uh, you can we can just copy the published folder in and uh, map into the is folder locations folder next and it will uh, publish into uh, bean release dotnet 8.0 published uh, location finish so our uh, profile is ready 
so here is the profile if you click the properties then publish profile here is the published xml file has been created here is the button if we click the button then uh, uh, published will uh, publish process will start so delete here is additional configuration if required you can uh, configure according to your needs but we am going to publish uh, the default setup so i'm just pressing the publish button so once i press the publish button it will start the published uh, this application so it will take a uh, few moments here publishing the uh, because uh, before uh, once publishing this application i just let you know so this is the complete business solution uh, we have uh, developed this application using asp.net uh, sd.net latest sdk 8.0 also we have used uh, entity framework code code first approach and uh, this application is supporting multiple database you can use sql server mysql postgresql uh, anyone based on your uh, business uh, requirements or needs you can uh, use any database so uh, we have make sure the dynamic configuration into the appsetting.json file already install the required nugget packages to handling the uh, different database uh, using entity framework code so this is complete application and the front end we have used uh, jquery and uh, in the back end uh, we have used sp.net mbc c sharp controller so our uh, application published successfully here is the published location if we click this uh, or also we can open using this folder so we have a published folder i'm just copy this published folder and uh, move to keep uh, this published folder into iis location from my uh, computer so let me show you so local disk uh, in in pub and ww root so i already published business erp so i'm going to publish another business erp business erp new So under this folder, sorry, business ERP new, paste. I'm going to keep the published folder here. So remember, we just copy the published folder uh, from the release uh, .NET SDK 8.0 and uh, the published folder. So. Uh, once pub, uh, published folder copy done uh, meanwhile let me configure the site so add new web website from the iis so you have to set the name business sorry published folder uh, copy done business erp new and the path will be uh, but will be uh, <coughs> ww root folder path so here is our path path is done all assigned and port uh, most of the port i have already used with my different application uh, let's say 98 yes 98 uh, is available so restart so uh, is configuration done for after publishing the asp.net application if we just browse uh, this click the browse this application then hopefully uh, without any issue we can able to access this application yes we are successfully access the application uh, if we try to log in into this application then also we can make sure the database connectivity other things everything fine so everything uh, fine we successfully log in into the application and uh, we can browse the application so if we go to the sales invoice you can create a bunch of invoice here and also you can print invoice everything in the application so these are the uh, business erp application but uh, if we talk about the published process so here is your application is running on iis and you can configure your application here start stop browse and advanced settings you can change the 
physical path location from here also by right clicking you can uh, uh, change the bindings like port number edit so these are the things you can do so this is the simple uh, way you can publish your dotnet application on is same things is goes for windows server so i just published this application into my local machine also if you have a windows server you can publish this application using the same step same flow uh, same flow into your uh, windows server and you have to make sure uh, like uh, uh, same things like dotnet uh, hosting bundle and also the IIS configuration if not enable the IIS required services into your uh, windows machine so these are the things you have to make sure so if we summarize again uh, so how you can publish your uh, asp.net application using uh, visual studio also you can apply publish this application using the command line so simple uh, just right click into the application and open in terminal <coughs> here is the command how we can publish this application using the terminal project notes uh, .net publish using this simple command you can publish this application so if i enter then publish process will start so it will take for some moments here uh, for publishing the application uh, you know so uh, uh, all uh, libraries and all the files is processing now so uh, meanwhile i can uh, discuss about the this video of summary so first you have to make sure uh, sp.net uh, latest project with uh, latest sdk so if we have uh, some crude operation or simple hello world or business uh, business application or any sp.net application you can publish the uh, published into IIS using this uh, this uh, flow which I already explained like uh, make sure uh, hosting bundle dot net SDK and configure the uh, default IIS settings into your local machine or Windows server and then finally publish the application using um, Visual Studio uh, or using the uh, command from the terminal so both way you can so publish done from the command so simple command i i will share i will share this command into the video description and finally uh, you have after the uh, ready published folder so we can check the published folder here uh, right click into the project open in for file explorer and then beam release dotnet 8.0 Publish. So you have to copy this latest published folders uh, and the uh, the project physical path advanced settings. So physical path from IS. You have to set update this uh, published folder here. So if you have a .NET application and if you want to uh, or if you need to publish this application so that you can browse without uh, opening the Visual Studio or running the application uh, just uh, from the browser type your uh, published uh, port URL so that you can browse your application without running the application from local machine if you want to publish if you want to access your application without uh, visual studio or without running the application from terminal so just uh, publish the application by following these steps and then you can browse this application like uh, what i'm doing right now so uh, and if i uh, giving simple overview the business erp solution this is the complete uh, application for managing invoice purchase expense and also uh, the post system is available here uh, you can uh, manage your post module as your manage customer and additional uh, additional feature in this application is bunch of reports item report sales report purchase report expense report lot of things and uh, this is a complete solution if you are interested then you can purchase from here and we'll uh, we'll give you these things uh, let me log out 
if you interest to purchase then after purchase you will get complete source code uh, with documentation business uh, ERD diagram and the uh, also uh, the architectural diagram these are the things uh, you will uh, get after the purchase so thank you for watching this video and uh, if you like this video please uh, press the like button so that the search engine uh, is uh, promoting my video uh, thank you again so hopefully uh, we'll publish another see you in the next video by publishing another another new topics so thank you